All right, let's spend a little time today talking about how if you really want to free up your Canon R5C, I think you're going to need a cage. So the Canon R5C is an incredible little camera, but there's one thing you'll discover extremely quick once you put it on, and that is just how much the limitations of the battery and power are on this camera. So most of you within the first week of getting this, you're going to have some kind of battery solution to let you go out there and run. Now there's tons of different ones. I'm gonna do a whole video on powering this thing, but one, one thing that I set it on that really I thought was great was this BGR10 Canon battery grip. And I really love this. It feels great in your hand and it lets you run and gun with a Canon R5C. I felt like with just the battery that was in here, I couldn't run and gun. I did some shoots and was so frustrated by how fast I was running on batteries. This RBG R10 battery grip is an essential piece of the Canon R5C as far as I'm concerned. And that brings me to what I wanna talk about today because once we get this, we need to get a camera cage. And for me, camera cages are one of those things that I consider an absolute, no doubt about it, essential part of a camera. If you don't have a camera cage on your camera, you literally are locking it in from what it really wants to be. And this is really important on a Canon R5C because a C stands for cinema, and there's so many cinema things that you need a cage to attach peripherals on your camera. So without a cage, you just really, really limit what your camera can and can't do. And this is why I wanna talk about this. This is the small rig 3464 Canon R5C cage and it's designed specifically to go with the BGR10 battery grip. Now, Small Rig did send me a unit for review. I am not being paid for this in any way, shape, and form. They just wanted me to give an honest review of what I have and that's what I've done today. Now, I'm gonna give you a little spoiler alert. This thing is fantastic. I wanna go and tell you why, if you're getting a Canon R5C and you're getting a battery grip, why this thing for me, don't even think about it. Go ahead and get it because this thing has so many great features on it. Let's go and look at it. The first thing is you can see solid aluminum. It just feels really sturdy, even right out of the box. But what I like about this cage is it's so well engineered. If you know anything about me, I like well engineered stuff. It gets me excited to see little things on there. Now, the one thing that you need to see here is it actually attaches in kind of an ingenious and different way. There's only one point of contact on the bottom. When I got this, I'm like, gosh, what's a cage with one point of contact? But that's not how it actually works. If you look here on the side, it actually has these little small devices that slip in on the side and hook into the Canon R5C's camera strap ports. What this means is this cage gives you three points of contact whenever you have the cage on. So it is super sturdy. Now, the way that works is you literally just slip this in here like that. And another great thing about this cage is to point it out on the bottom, they include a multi-tool right there on the bottom. It's magnetic, it sticks in there, it'll never fall out. And the thing is, I love this, it's great. So we go in there, we have the one point of contact on the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that in real quick. Okay, and now that we got the one point of contact here on the bottom, you can see the cage still has some wiggle because it's a cage with one point of contact. But here's where things really get interesting. What you do is these, cage, these little devices here, they have hex screws. So what you do is you slip them in like that right here, and then you take this little screw that comes with it and you lock it in. And what's great is it comes in to the camera strap, like I said. And on top of it, bonus, this little tool, it just so happens to fit perfectly with this device. So one side is a screwdriver, but the other side is a hex that works perfectly in there. So I can literally just take it, put it in, I'll screw this in on the side. I got that side in there. And then you'll see it's the same thing on the other side. So I'll take this other side right here and I will do the same thing. Slip it right in. Uh, one thing I really like about this is it just slips right in. There's absolutely no hesitation in how it slips in. I'll take the hex here. I will screw this now on the other side. And now you can see I have a rock solid cage. And what I love about this is this just feels like it's built into the camera body. It actually has, because it's got those three points of contact, there's zero give and take. It feels really, really secure. And I love the fact that I can just pop my batteries on and off really fast, pop them back in. Don't have to take it off a tripod if I have a plate on the bottom, anything like that. 
Now let's go ahead and talk about all the mounting points you have on this camera because this is one of the things that make it such a great cage. It's not just that it's sturdy and protects your camera, it's all the stuff that it allows you to attach a camera, which is really the whole point of a cage anyway. Underneath, what's really cool is you actually have five screw holes here underneath. You have four quarter inch 20s and one 3 8 Now, if you look on the sides, you have a lot of good mounting points here. There's already 3 8 locating holes, one quarter inch, and 3 8 threaded throws throughout, and you have a cold shoe mount as well, which gives you a ton of options. You can see the RE mount right there. There's also a 3 8 hole on this side, and there's quarter inches all over. So you have a lot of options on how to mount on there. Another thing I wanna point out is the bottom of this thing. <laughs> this is cool. I did not expect this when I saw that, but if you look at the bottom of this, it's actually an Arca Swiss plate, quick release plate that's built into the camera body. What this means is you can slip this on a DJI Ronin RS2. You don't have to have any plate. Literally the camera body itself is your Arca plate. You can switch right on there. I gotta admit, that is super cool. I'm a Manfrotto plate guy myself, but this thing is awesome. I may find myself taking my plate off sometimes because of the convenience of that. It's just too cool. It's really, really great. I love that feature, really ingenious little design to it. And really this is such a well-engineered piece of equipment. It just feels so good on your camera. It just makes me feel like my camera's ready for play. I can now attach all this stuff. I need a wireless monitor. If I need anything like that, I can attach it on here, no problem. I can do my Nega arms. I can do so many things attached to here and really get ready to rock and roll on a professional film set with this Canon R5C. I love it. And now I've got the battery and the solution to do it with it. Now, that being said, let's talk about any cons to this system. And really, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a lot of cons because this thing is so well designed. I love it. But nothing is perfect. Let's talk about what I would consider any cons about it. Um, I do love the mounting holes. The only thing that I wish is maybe on this right side, there is no 3 8 uh, hole. There's just quarter inch. It might have been nice to have that. But really, the only thing that I really found myself wishing that I could have on there is it would have been nice to have a NATO rail natural adapted build in the cage, just like on the original Canon R5 cage that I had. I really love that feature. I always slap my NATO rail handles on there. I loved having it on the top, but it's actually a pretty easy solution. And that's what I'm gonna talk about now, which is what I would consider, this is an incredible cage, but I do think you need to get two essential add-ons to really completely unlock it all the way. Now, the first one I would say is the small rig HDMI protector. It literally comes in right on the side. This thing is absolutely critical. It almost justifies the entire price of the cage just by itself. I've literally been using those on every small rig cage I have on the Canon R5. And believe it or not, I've literally had one of these on my Canon R5 cage and gone over a year and a half of constant shooting. And I have not broken a single HDMI cable on the Canon R5C, even with that tiny little micro port, which honestly I am completely shocked by. So this right here, no brainer, you need it. This will keep your cable safe and allow you to keep shooting. The other thing that I consider really, really nice is Small Rig has a quick release NATO rail that you can attach to the top here. And this locks right in and this gives me that NATO rail point of access that I wish I had. It's right there. It's very, very cheap, and I can add all these on and be ready to go. And now that I have this, I have a camera that's ready to roll and ready for actual professional cinema work. So that is it. I mean, this is the small rig 3464 camera cage for the Canon R5C with the BGR tank battery grip. And this thing is awesome. I don't even think that I consider this camera completely built until I put this thing on there. And now I have the ability to go and run and gun and be a professional filmmaker with this thing and attach anything I want. Peace of mind and ease of use. Two things that I love. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Please leave me any comments down below. Yeah, go out there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.